Now, what you are, what you are doing now, yeah. you want to dry the sand. In this video, you will discover the production process of Instacrete's concrete mix and Instacrete's mortar mix. So this is what we normally use to burn the sand. Mm -hmm. These are macadamia husk. And the best part, you only add water. We, we have just uh, opened the, our new bag for concrete. Yes. Because we are supposed to open one bag as we, the, the work progresses. Mm. So right now they want to mix. They, they only need to add water. Just tear open a bag, add water and start mixing. It's that convenient. So when we say it's ongeza maji too, that's what we mean. So that's the bag of the mortar mix. Now what I need my guys to do, uh, I want them to mix, adding water around. You'll see how to cast a foundation slab using the concrete mix bag. And Fundi Jackson will show you how to lay masonry blocks using the mortar mix. This new alternative building technology in Kenya will save you the time and labor costs needed to make concrete or mortar. And at the same time, it will greatly boost the productivity of your fundies. Let's go to Instacrete headquarters in Malili, a town just ahead of Konza Technopolis, to discover the production process. Um, my name is Kennedy Zachary. I'm the production manager. Welcome to Instacrete Kenya Limited. Instacrete, in short, we say it's the word instant concrete. That's where we get our word because we had to look for a name that is familiar and close to the products that we are producing. Uh, Insacred has been in business for now close to one year. We started operations uh, around February, March, groundbreaking. So we have been there until now when we can say we are comfortably done whatever was required of us and uh, we are proud to say with the product is ready and ready to go to the market. In fact, we say we procure, we process and add value to cementia's construction materials. When I say that, I'm talking on behalf of uh, things like uh, sand, where I've taken, uh, we, we, have, we shall see the process of how we process our sand. We add value, even from the cement that we buy from our suppliers, then come up with a product that we can say we are boost for it for our client, a little client, anybody with a small project around uh, our rural homes, anybody doing small households, a project, even building houses. So when we say now the product is ready for the market, that's what we mean by Instacrete. The products that we have already in the market, we have already two types of products. We have mortar, mortar mix, which we have integrated it with sand, put it in our production, mix it together, blend it together. Then we have come up with that product, which you can say it's ready for building stones. We also have concrete, which it's for rain foundation. We have already branded it with the sand, the required amount, the ballast and the cement. And as you can see, I'll show you the pictures and the videos of the material in use. Mm -hmm. So, so far, we are ready with the market already, waiting to go out to our client. Okay. Yes. What is the weight of one bag? Uh, we normally pack our bags in 40 kilos. For the motor, the car is blue and for the concrete, the car is beige. So we normally put them in a 40 kilos bag, which is ready to handle, easier to carry, and convenient even for our client. Okay. Yes, yes. Let's start with the concrete mix. Yes. What class of concrete are you making? 25. Okay. 25. These two products? Yes. 
You've added value by putting the components. Yes. For example, for the concrete mix, you yes. put the sand, yes. the cement, yes. and the ballast together. Yes. That value addition. Yes. In that one bag. Yes. How do you price that product? Uh, currently, regarding on our geographic locations around the country, uh, for the concrete, which is the one that is going for 400 and 70 to 550, depending, depending on where the client is the, to, to the product to be taken. If it's for, and we, we are saying, if you come to the factory, that is, if you come to the uh, uh, factory, the prices will be the same as you get them from Nairobi or any other, other place. It mm. depends with the client where he's coming from. But the moment, the prices will range from 470 to 550 for concrete and uh, 450 to 520 for the motor. That's one bag. One bag. What is happening over here? Now what we are doing, yeah. we are we want to dry the sand. Uh -huh. We want to remove any organic matter yeah. that is found in the sand. Yeah. We want to remove also the sand that is not useful for the cementious material, construction material. So what we are doing, we are filling the hopper, then we shall take the whole whole process to the farm is there. Mm -hmm. Dry the sand and remove any material that is unwanted in the construction for the materials. So what you are doing now, we want to refill there. Mm -hmm. Then we start, start our conveyor and take the sand to the farmers, burn it. Then you shall see the process of how we remove even the sand from there and any organic material that is composed in that side. So once we are done with that, the quantity that we require and the quality will go back to production. Whatever is not required, we remain there, and I shall, I shall see for you, the owner is the clip and how it will also remain on the factory. Why is this so important? It's very important because we don't want any sand with water. Because when you mix water and sand and cement, what happens? It starts to react. Yes. So that's why we want to dry. Again, we want to remove any organic matter on that sand. Let's say you have t 10 tons of sand. Yes. Uh, there's a huge part of it that once that, dried yes. becomes waste. waste. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you, you, you know, when you receive the sun, you normally receive in huge bag, maybe 30 tons, 35 tons. Mm -hmm. But after you are done removing water and any organic matter that is not, uh, that, that does not required in the production, finally you remain with around 29, 28 tons. So around 5 tons is goes to waste. Okay. Yes. So, what do you use as fuel uh, in this case? Uh, we use husk, macadamia husk. Mm -hmm. And I think it's good for our cameraman to come and see. So, this is what we normally use to burn the sand. Mm -hmm. These are macadamia husk. The, the importance of this macadamia husk, they, they burn over time. So, and the, the, the heat required to burn the sand, it's supposed to be consistent. You cannot use any other charcoal yeah. for that matter. So, and even the cameraman can, can try and take the picture for our viewers to see. So now that's the burning of the, 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 the half picture burning. Mm. So, and that's the, the temperature we have now, that one is required. According to what I can see, it's required yeah. to burn the sun. Yeah. So the Nick now, we can move the, now the process for the sun now to be burned. Yeah. Remove all the okay. organic matter, remove water, and remove any unwanted materials from it. Okay. Yes. Now, the sun has been burned. Yeah. Uh, it's completely dried. Now, whatever is going back to production, it's whatever has been purified. From here, it will go to that vibrator machine. Then we move some, any, any sun that is, has bigger particles. For that to production. So anything here is already been done. This is what now goes to production. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's hot. It's hot. <laughs> because it's it's gone all the process that normally goes uh, during the, the burning process. The sun has been removed all the particles, so we don't have any particles that that is not wanted from to the factory. Now this one it's ready for the mix. Either this is want, the sun that is now going to the bag. Yeah, to the bag. Mm -hmm. But it is not going to the bag. It's normally going for a further process. Okay. What we do here, all the material that we buy. Go, it's added value. Mm. So already this sand has been added value. It has no particles, it has no water, and any debris 
in the big no organic materials. And no organic materials. So this one is ready to go for a further process, mm -hmm. which now can we can make a mortar or concrete. Yeah. So it's it's done. It's 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 the best quality that you can have. Yeah. Then I would like you to see now the sand. That's normally sand and silt that is going to co normally contain on this sand before that And process. after. This is and now after. the after. So this is the after. Yes. Okay. Here we have two samples of sand. Yes. Explain to us the difference between the two. Now, this is the first initiary mm -hmm. direct from our suppliers. Mm -hmm. The sand has not been done anything. It's just stored where we normally store it, ready for production added value. Now, I think you can see it has large stones, it has water, mm -hmm. it has debris, it has any organic matter yeah. that is not required, but you cannot see with your own eyes. Yes. So, after go, it goes to the whole production of burning, burning it and mm -hmm. removing all the organic matter, this is finally now the sun that it's required for production. It's hot, you can see, yeah. because it's burned. We have removed all the organic matter, any impurities, mm -hmm. and this one is ready to go for further processing in production. Yeah. Yeah. You can see even the texture. This one is very smooth. Very smooth, battery. Yes. yes. Battery smooth. Yes, battery smooth. This one is rough. Mm -hmm. You can see even the color, even yeah. the texture. You can and then see. this one doesn't stick on your yeah, on your hand. Like this. Yeah. Because this one is it has so moisture. many moisture. Mm. So that's why it's sticking to the hand. So this one is ready to go for further production. Now, let's take a look at two practical examples where you can use Instacrete's products. In the first example, we'll discover how to make a foundation slab using the concrete mix. Here we have the concrete mix bag. As you can see, these bags are going to be used for this particular slab that the company wants to make as an extension of uh, this sand drying area. We have the DPM and the BRC mesh ready. So now we are about to cast the concrete slab for this particular area. So, Mr. Kennedy, yes, yes. what is happening right now? Now, we are, we are just uh, opened our new bag for concrete. Yes. Because we are supposed to open one bag as we, the, the work progresses. Mm. So right now they want to mix, they, add, they only need to add water. Yeah. Water around. Then the, 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 the mason fundi will continue doing the, the job. Mm -hmm. but our requirement is we only do one, one bag on the whole barrel. But when you have a trough, yeah. you can do as many bags that you want. Okay. The only thing that you need to do is add water around. Yeah. That's why we are seeing on our bag Ongeza Majitu. Ongeza Majitu. Ongeza Majitu. Because we have the three in one component. Yes, the three in one. We have cement, we have sand, and we have the ballast. Okay. The one to do the. Very important. And this is class 25 of concrete? Yes, this is class 25 of concrete. Mm -hmm. The one that we are just yes, ready to go to the market. Yes. 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 Indeed, it's only a, a matter of adding water. Adding water around. <laughs> yeah. Maji pekeyaki. Maji too. Maji too. Sorry. For this particular area, yes. how many bags do you estimate? Uh, uh, I estimate maybe need? around 30 bags. Okay. Yes. Now this one is ready. Mm -hmm. Now I, I would like you to see how the fundi will they just be continue doing the work. Yes. It's already added the water that is required and already mixed to the required standard. So I think now the fundi will show you how to go there from there now. 
Okay. Yes, yes. Ya sana. In the second example, we'll see how you can lay stone blocks using the mortar mix. And we'll also discover a pit latrine at Instacrit that was built using the same mortar mix. Here we have the mortar mix, that's the bag. We are about to do some mixing and here we have the stone blocks. We want to put the mortar to lay the stone blocks. So, uh, Mr. Kennedy. Yes. What's the process? Now the process, I think everyone can see, that's the bag tiered. Mm -hmm. We have poured the product on the hurubaru. So when we say it's ongeza maji too, that's what we mean. So that's the bag of the mortar mix. Now what I need my guys to do, I want them to mix, adding water around. So we continue. As my uh, cameraman takes the video. How many feet can one bag cover? Uh, one bag of motor can cover 22 to 25 feet of bricks. Of? Of bricks. Or stones. Yeah. So when you say bricks or stones, it depends because yeah. we have uh, different sizes of, of them. Yeah. So, but one bag can cover 22 to 25 feet of stones. Yeah. Yes. These are the ndarugo. Yes. The, the machine. The stone blocks. Eh? Yeah. The, the machine, machine cuts, cuts stone yes. block. Yes. Can they be used for the foundations? Too? Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. We so can also use our concrete mix when you're doing your foundation. Yeah. Yeah. So fundi. Yeah. No na po mwekelea mawe. Dio. Abutu elezep. Will you have any process? Eh, uksha uksha koroga yo smiti kuchanganya kwa wirubaro. Eh, yo komoja na changanya na maji ambapo akuna kitu ingini ni maji tu peke yake. Mhm. Tasa una una ingia upanda wa kujenga. Mhm. Na unaheka matofari yako. Unaheka kabiru na unaanza ujenzi. Mhm. Kwa kwa yo ujenzi anza kupanga mawe yako so hata kwako ni rahisi eh Juhu. kwa kwa ununua tu hiyo mfuko ya motor mix eh eh na we kazi yako ni na watu wako ni kuongeza tu maji eh kwangu ni rahisi kwa maana eh bila bi, 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 bila nini hii simiti Yeah. kazi imekuwa imekuwa ngumu. Mm. Lakini file tuko na hii miti ya maji hey, water tu. mix. Eh hey, water mix ambayo ni maji tu kazi inakuwa ni rahisi. Yeah. Kwa siku unaweza pata unamejenga futi 300. Yeah. Kwa fundi moja. Yeah. Lakini hiyo ingine ya kuchanganya mchanga na nini wastage of time materials yeah. unapata unatumia umejenga futi 100 moja ama 150. Eh. Yeah. Reba ndifande nje hii reba iko juu. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. Kisha kisha kuwa tayari eh. kupanga watu wako eh. wajue vile watapanga mawe ya haraka haraka wao watapanga mawe ya haraka eh. output itakuwa juu mm -hmm. kazi itakuwa mingi sawa so. eh. Here we have a pit latrine, we have the stone blocks, and now uh, Instacrit have used their product for the mortar. So, Mr. Kennedy, yes. explain to us how you used 
uh, the motor mix to build this particular platform? Yes, now, you know, we, we, we preach what we do and what we do, mm. the customer should uh, listen to us. Yeah. Because what when we say Ongeza Maji 2, we mean it. Yes. This was made yesterday. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> and the guy who did the plaster finished this morning. Mm -hmm. So you can see we have used our completed motor. The only thing that we have procured here is the stones. Mm. So the stones is the one that we procured from a different supplier. Yeah. But for the con for the for the motor, it's totally ours. Yeah. And now you can attest. Yes. We can see. You can, yeah. And this kind of mo motor is very neat. Yes. It's fine. Mm -hmm. You know, when I say that we normally remove all the debris from the sand, we mean it. You can attest. The, 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 the fundi who did the, 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 the work, you can look at for yourself. There's no waste. Yeah. The old, the old traditional way, when you go and find a fundi building, there is that uh, poor thing that they normally lay on the ground. On the ground because of the... To recover yeah. the material. But here, we don't have to do all that. Mm -hmm. We just use a hurubaru. One fundi and one helper, in a day, they can do 300 feet. But the old, the old tonation way right now, if you go to our rural areas, they normally do 100 feet. Yes. But one fundi has almost five guys help us. Yeah. One guy to mix, one guy to bring the material. One guy to sieve. One guy to sieve, you know. Yeah. But at the end of the day, how much money do you lose? So that's why we are saying, instruct it all the way to go. Mm -hmm. Instruct it means instant concrete. That's yeah. where we get our word. Exactly. So exactly you can see the the finest of the motor that has mm. been done the job. And for this particular latrine, yes. how many bags of uh, the motor mix did you use? Uh, for the outside or for the for the stones alone. Just for the stones. Or for the stones yeah. alone, we only used five bags. Five bags. Five bags. So someone can just uh, Yes. You can visualize it, instead of visualizing using uh, lorries and uh, yes. pickups, you just yes. know the number of bags. Uh, the, the old traditional way, I'll come there. Mm. Our, the common manage has been losing a lot of money. Mm. When you get a fundi or a technician to come and do the job, you ask him to do the material required to do a special return for you. Mm. But there's no even one technician who will do that without leaving some wastage on the ground. Yes. But as what we say, come take the five bags. If the job is not finished, you just go to the hardware, take another two, your job is done. Your job no is material done. is left for you. Mm. The work is done properly, no steering of materials. Mm. Yeah. So you can attest to this. Okay. Yes, yes. Can the motor mix be used for plastery? Yes. Okay. Yes. It can by factory be used. And that's why I want to, you guys to see. Yeah. Uh, the camera can come and uh, try to have a picture. This is motor. Wow. This is the motor. This is the motor this mix the that motor. has done this uh, plaster. Yes, the, this plaster. It has done this today in the morning. Uh -huh. So you can see. Is you feel for yourself the texture. Uh -huh. Yes. I'm, I'm so you can also, this product. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> you can also use the motor uh -huh. to do plaster. Wow. Depending on uh, how you'd like your house to, to, to look like. To look like. Mm. Yes. Because, you know, yeah. uh, this kind of motor, yeah. this kind of plaster, it can be used even for the precast panels. Yes. Where the joints meet. Yes. You know? Perfectly. So for even for the people who would like to build using panels, yes. where the panels meet at that joint, you can use the motor mix to connect the panels together. Definitely. Mm. Yes. This so when we say Ongeza Maji 2, we mean it. When yeah. we say we remove all the debris in our sand, yeah. you believe it. Now you, you just can see. You just tear the bag yes. and you add water. You add water. Nothing else. You don't you don't add anything. <laughs> you just, just pour some water, con let work begin. That is really the meaning of convenience. Yes. Yes. It's very convenient, easy to handle. Uh -huh. Yes. No rules for money. Yeah, and yes. even the client can be able to know how many bags they need. Definitely. Like for the you don't for need the to motor. Stockpile. Yes, you don't yeah. need to stockpile. Like yeah. for the motor, uh, one bag can cover twenty five to twenty five feet. 20 to 25 feet. Yes. Mm -hmm. So if you need to do a, a house, you just take the measurement. With that measurement that I have given, you just calculate how many bags you need. Mm. So even the fundi has very easy time to, to do the house. He cannot even steal a bag from you. Yeah. To the, the beauty of the game, you don't send someone to buy the material for you. It's you and your pickup or your small hull barrel. You just go to a vendor, 
buy the five bags if you need to do a small cow shed mm. we just need two bags so that's 1100 mm. but in the old traditional way a fundi comes and tells you 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 need to buy sand you need to buy you need to buy ballast you need to buy, buy cement. cement you need to import them yes in cut the transport so before the, before even the work begins uh-huh. there's too much wastage of time yeah but from this it's clearly shown in our bags even what we are packed there yeah. how many bags you need to to, to do, do a small a maybe, work. Yeah, yeah this is the way to go and i think now a lot of time will be covered hmm. from our concrete materials and mortar is there any further processing that is done on the ballast no 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 mm-hmm. not at all okay because we normally give our orders to the supplier and they normally uh, mix the required ratio that we require so as that production here we don't do any further processing for the ballast okay yes the only thing that we do further processing it's the sand yeah yes in the background yeah. we have some bags yes now could you explain to us uh, why they are here now these ones are ready for the market mm-hmm. we are just waiting for the orders for the our retail customers to give out the orders so all what you can see here all the pile this is for the motor mm-hmm. it's ready for the market so we are just waiting for for the customers to pay then we can deliver the products to them okay yes yes and i see it has a different uh, branding yes mm-hmm. For this color, which is in blue, 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 blue in color, that's for mortar. Mm-hmm. So when you see this one, is mortar, the one that we normally use to for stones only, yeah, and for plaster, it can yeah. also be used for plaster. Mm-hmm. If you don't see any, if you find uh, any bag with blue color and it's not mortar, that's that's not for intercrete. Okay. So intercrete, we normally use blue for the mortar mix around. Yeah. Yes. And w- what about the concrete mix? The concrete mix is used, you can do at the factory. Yeah. We use beige, mm-hmm. beige in color. When I say beige, yeah. this is what I, I mean. This is the color with the difference. Yeah. So this is the beige that I mean, but greenish, or you can check here. Mm. So this is what we, we normally call beige. If you see the difference, that one is blue. blue. This, is this one you can call it beige. Yeah. Yes. So this one now, it's also waiting for the market. This is the concrete that we have, mm-hmm. waiting for the orders again. And after the payment is made to, to, to our banks, that is, then we can deliver the product to the customer. Okay. Yes. So whatever you can see here, it's ready to be shipped. Yeah. Yes. And this factory, yes. what is the production capacity? Right now we are doing uh, 1,000 to 1,500 bucks daily. Yes. That's minimum. But you can stretch until 5,000 bucks yeah. daily. Yeah. Yes. So depending on the orders, because right now our orders, they are not shoot up. So what we, we are doing around 1,000 to 1,500 bucks. Mm-hmm. But when the orders are... Yeah, this is a confirmed. revolutionary product. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> we can do until 5,000 bucks okay. a day. Okay. Yes. For the concrete mix, yes. Uh, like w- what you are doing outside for the foundation slab, yeah. can it also be used for beams and columns? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yes, yes. Even for for severe for severe beams, you can also use mm-hmm. the, the the pavement works we see in town. Yeah, this one can be used. Yes. Oh, so there's that market for yes these people who work with the uh, precast concrete yes product yes so this perfect. is perfect. This is the perfect material for them. Ah. Oh, yes. Yes. Nice. Yes. How do you plan on uh, getting these products now to across the country? Now uh, we have distributors mm-hmm. who are already on on board. When I say distributor, there's an agreement between the company and the, the distributorship. For one to be a distributor, there are, there are certain terms that you are supposed to come in agreement or a contract with the company. Once you fulfill, then you, you can be supplied with our product. They are the, 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 the directors are ready to have a discussion with anybody feeling to, to fill up the position of a distributor because that's what we were thinking to go the distributors away. Right now we have someone in Roiro, we have someone in Kiambu, which is, we can say, Kiambu County. We have now in Nairobi County, Nyeri, we have another person, and uh, Machakos, that is Makweni. 
Uh, we have a guy showing commitment, but I think this is the best opportunity for anyone with interest to become a distributor. They can they can reach on us, mm -hmm. then we can sit down, because once we start, the train has already started and I don't think it's yeah. gonna to stop. This is a revolutionary product. Yes. We have concrete in a bag. Yes. You can imagine you're having a <laughs> you just three, three, three products in, in one bag. Can you imagine uh, we have been having huge pile of products mm. and if you tour around any 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 area, any town, name them, uh, even our rural areas, when someone wants to build a small latrine or a toilet, we are forced to stockpile materials. Yeah. Then the fundi is not even there when you need to when you need your calculations. If you if you if you check it well, here we are saying we have three products in one bag. So meaning you are not stockpiling any anymore. Mm -hmm. The costs, the costs involved. You can also do your costs you as an individual mm. without involving the fundi or the technician. You can be able to measure in terms yes. of bags. Yes. How many bags you need? Yes. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So when we say we have distributors on board, already we have started moving our product. If you go to Nyeri, we have the product there. If you go to Roiro, Kiambu, Rironi, Rimuru, we shall have our product there. Mm. So meaning those are the distributors that already are on board. But okay. we still are encouraging to have more. So I so, think so it's this is an time. opportunity. Yes. Then very soon, maybe, and we are still in doing it in production, we shall have a material for plastering around. Although, even if, if not right now we say we can also use the mortar to do your plaster, yeah. but now we are coming up with another product uh, by the name Stuko. Soon you see it in the market. Once we are done, once it's, 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 it's already in, the, in, the, in our labs, mm. going for further testing. So once it will be ready, you'll see it in the market. Okay. Yes. That cluster mix is done for the Nilo. Yes. Mm. The one that we the, the, fine, the, the fine finest, plaster. yes. The finest that plaster. we see, like the one we normally say Nilo. Yeah. The one used uh, use we normally the traditional way we use the cement around. Mm. But in our case we shall use the cement and and some part material expert of sand. Okay. Yes. Your two products. Yes. How does it help the client to save on costs? Yeah. Where you don't need to have too much, to, to have too much money in your account for, 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 for you to start using our product. Mm. Like, in the, I'll keep on referring, like in a traditional way, the, the norm has been if you need to do a train, you need to do a one single house, name them a small fence, then you have come up with a cost because you have to bring in the supplies for the sand around. You need maybe like 30 tons, that's translated to almost 70,000. You go to Barats, the same case, it translates to around 30,000, those 90. If you go now to the cement, you are told to do 100 bags for a start. Those, if you translate now, 100 ba uh, a bag of cement goes to 700, 700, 700 bob. So if you calculate by 100, those, that, that's almost similar to 70,000. Yeah. So give or take, you are supposed to have like 200,000, but in our case, from a minimum of 6,000, you can start taking our product and starting your project. Yeah. So you'll save on cost, you'll save on stockpiling materials, which they can stay on the ground for a very long time without being in use. Because if you don't have one product, because yeah. you need, you are supposed to have the three products simultaneously. But if you lack funds, maybe for example, you have the sand and you have the, the, the ballast, you cannot continue without the sand. Without the cement. But, yeah, but without the cement. But in our case, we are saying, we are ready to go. Once you do the foundation, nothing is holding you back. Yes. Yeah, like you are doing the foundation Yes, here. like we are doing the foundation here. Yeah, we, are, we have already started the foundation. You have already seen, we are already doing the project and nothing is keeping us going on. So you save on costs, you save on time, you save on labor, and you only need some water with you to start your project. Mm. You know, like for example, I don't, uh, uh, if you have toured our rural areas mm. and you see the surveyors doing the beacons, the beacons, mm. how, how, how do they use the, the product for them to do the beacons? Yeah. Have you ever seen? No, I've not seen. So they are forced to mix mm. that product in buckets. And then one guy is forced to be carrying the bucket with him yeah. as they continue doing the, the job. Uh, the job. But in our case, if you need to do 10, 10, beacon, 10 beacons, you just mix a small volume of, of the product, of the motor, 
Mm. And within a few minutes of time, it's dried. You don't have to carry the, 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 the bucket with you. Yeah. The, 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 you only need some water and a bucket. So you can even do it one big con at a time. Mm. Yes. So it's very convenient. Very inconvenient. Easy to handle. Okay, for other products in coming in the market or other cases, apart from uh, the stucco, the plastering mix, we are also thinking on how to come up with a cabro. The cabro mix, mm -hmm. to make the cabros, the one that if you guys are indeed, you are sure you have seen it. So mm -hmm. even that one we are in, 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 uh, providing the production. And soon, maybe soon, that one maybe, once we are ready, I think it will be posted in our website and the product will be made in the market. Okay. Yes. But for now, you're focusing on the concrete mix and, motor. and the motor mix. Yes. Okay. And uh, for the stucco, the plastering mix, it's already in our wraps. Yeah, yeah. So we are waiting for the result. So right. soon, I will oh, come. It's with the cabs? Yeah, cabs. Okay. Yes, yes. One bag of concrete can cover an area of 0 0.5 meters by 0 0.5 meters and a thickness of 100 millimeters. That gives an estimated volume of 0 0.025 cubic meters or in imperial units, 0 0.7 cubic feet. If you head over to Instacrete's website, you're able to estimate the number of concrete or mortar bags you will need for your project. Starting with concrete bags, for example, let's say I have a room that is 10 feet long by 10 feet wide, and I need a 6 inch thick slab for my room. After putting those details and pressing calculate, I got an answer of 72 bags of concrete. You can see here that it says that for one bag of concrete, it covers a volume of 0 0.7 cubic feet in the footnotes. The same for mortar. I put a figure of 1,000 feet of stone blocks and I got a figure of 46 bags of mortar. They've also put a footnote that says that one bag of mortar covers a linear length of 22 feet for 6 inch stone blocks. So you can input your project details at instacritkenya.net forward slash calculate. I'll also put a link in the description. Because this is a new product in Kenya, I know you have a lot of questions. So in case you want to get in touch with Instacrit, these are their contact details. You can pause the video right now. And if you want to visit their factory in Malili, I'll leave a Google Maps link in the description. I hope you found this video useful and I hope you got the idea of buying concrete bags and motor bags for your next project. So that's it for this video and as always, Thanks for watching.